This is Morganaki and today we're going to look at some Pokemon candy from Japan. I ordered a big bag of Pokemon snacks and meals and various things from Japan and I thought I'll split them into savoury and sweet so today we are doing sweet. Right we'll start with this. There is not a word of English on this but I know that that is shaped like a master ball. Isn't it? Uh, I presume that is what the little snacks look like. So they look like little Pikachu heads. There's Pikachu on the front saying something I haven't got a clue. Where well, it says they're pocket monsters with all the usual copyright nonsense. Uh, it says 44. I have no idea what significance 44 has. And there's some Pokemon on the back. And there's Pancham. Uh, there's Mudkip. Skeptile. Is it Mega Skeptile? That's Mega Metagross, isn't it? Okay, let's open them up and have a see. Oh, they're in a little bag. Hmm, I like that. Ah, oh, this looks like a game. Ah. I think that's what this is all about. Are they the answers to the puzzle? Do you have to find... Match them up to the numbers, go along the lines and the bridges. Oh, I haven't a clue. And what is that? Hmm, what is that? I think it's like a collectible card or something. I was not expecting that. I will open that in a second after we have looked at these. It reminds me a bit of Hello Pandas because they come in a cardboard box and then inside there's a plastic bag. plastic bag I can't open. Okay, I've got them open and off camera I had a little smell of them. They smell like golden nuggets. Uh, if you're British you'll know golden nuggets are like a honey flavoured cereal. They smell a little bit like that. So are they honey flavour? I haven't got a clue what flavour they're supposed to be. Haven't the faintest. So let's have a taste. They're very strange. They've got a texture of cereal that's been open a bit too long. And it has a weird sort of milk flavour. You know what it tastes like? It tastes like cereal that's been open a bit too long. And it's like you've had golden nuggets and you're about to drink the milk, but they have somehow condensed the taste of the milk and put it in one of these little Pikachu biscuits. I am really, really torn on these because initially they were bloody awful and I've had a second one and they're not that bad. And the more you eat them, the more like milk they taste. Yeah, I'm convinced these are milk flavour. And I reckon by the time I finish the bag, I'll really, really like them because the more I eat, the more I want them and the more I like them. Okay. I think I've figured it out. This on the back is saying inside there is a sticker. A shiny sticker that can be put on your notebook, on your whatever. And opening up this little black bag, it is indeed a sticker. And I believe that is Mega... Mega will not focus. Mega Blaziken. Oh, there's a lot of glare on that because it's so holographic. Yeah, Mega Blaziken. Shiny. So yeah, with your um, candy, snacks, you get a free sticker. Alright, that's something we really need to do in this country that we don't, and Japan clearly does. Free stickers. We used to do it in the 90s and then it just sort of faded away. Who knows why? Okay, next we have got this. And this, I can hazard a guess at what it is, because there is actually some English on it. If you can see there, if the camera will focus, and the camera won't focus, 
it says choco egg so it's a chocolate egg is it a kinder egg sort of chocolate egg i wonder or there we go choco egg so we've got mio clefairy oh espion i like seeing espion on things espion is my favorite uh yeah not a word i haven't got a clue uh, and there's something you can cut out and collect something to do with the pocket tournament on the 3ds I uh, haven't the slightest and there's that weird date format again uh, the second of 2017 so the February okay let's have a look I'm presuming it's just a chocolate egg there's nothing in it oh she says there is quite clearly something in it Just looks like a regular chocolatey sort of Kinder Egg. Chocolatey sort of Kinder Egg that's falling to pieces. Okay. Right, let's have a taste of the chocolate first. It just... It looks like an ordinary Kinder Egg. Quite a lot of, um, shall we say, fake Kinder Eggs. Things that are trying to be Kinder Eggs that aren't quite Kinder Eggs. Are usually all one colour. They're usually all milk or all white. Or sometimes one half is milk, one half is white. Never before have I seen a Kinder Egg that's not quite a Kinder Egg that actually has the white inside and the milk outside. But enough waffling on, let us have some. It's um very, very like a Kinder Egg, but not quite. It's not as sweet. I'm going to presume that's a, you know, a Japanese taste bud sort of thing. People often say that things from the West, particularly America and the UK, are overly sweet. So when we eat things from other countries, we think it's bland or, you know, mild because it's a sweetness level below what we're used to. But it's very pleasant. It sort of gives me the vibe of chocolate that is made for kids. So it's very mild, very, very, um, like a gentle sort of taste, if you will. And it's more suitable for the palate of children, which makes a lot of sense because it's fucking Pokemon. Um, and again, the more I eat it, the more I like it. It's just all Japanese things like this. They're all Japanese things full of MSG. I thought that was Chinese. One sec while I just finish eating this egg. Ha. Right, now let's have a look, see what's in here. This is very Kinder Eggy, isn't it? I hope it's a Pokemon toy. I will be very disappointed if it's not a Pokemon toy. Oh, okay. It's, um, something. Oh, that's Gen 5 or Gen 6. I haven't got a freaking clue what that is. It's that there. Oh, I could have had an Espeon. Oh, we're Japan. What are you playing at? I could have had an Espeon. How do we build it? Uh -huh. That goes in there. It's head. It's head goes in here. It's very stiff. Oh, I feel like I'm going to break it. It feels really fragile. It's made out of really, really flexible, cheapy, shitty plastic. Uh huh. There's its body. And that's its. What? What is that? Oh, that goes around its neck. Oh, no wonder its neck won't go on properly. I thought that was its tail or something. Right. Come on, get your scarf on. It's cold outside, wherever you are. Okay, we have built it. Eventually. <laughs> Eventually. It's got this stand, but its feet sort of stick out either side of the stand, so the stand seems kind of pointless. Like, I'm sure that could stand up without the stand. Yeah, it can. So what is the point of that stand? 
Maybe there are others that won't stand up, like Mew, for instance, or they need a stand, so they've just, you know, made them all generic and have a stand, but whatever this is does not need a stand. <laughs>